à tous, bienvenue à Lanzarote. Nous sommes aujourd'hui mardi et nous venons juste d'apercevoir pour fin, le bateau de Jan Herbert Jones numéro 37 euh, qui arrive lui aussi comme Elliot par le côté euh, est de l'île. Ça y est, il nous a vus et qui arrive lui aussi avec le soleil et c'est très 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 joli. So he is puffing. <laughs> so uh, this is a bit of fun. Motoring again, the same as Elliot, but uh, here he is. Go in. Welcome to Lanzarote. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely not the committee boat. <laughs> Donc voilà, il va faire euh, comme, euh, comme Elliot, il va venir. Just go straight for the wall. Don lui explique comment où se trouve la bouée parce qu'on peut pas la voir d'ici. He's not used to being alongside the coast, so he's giving it a wide berth, but there's plenty of room. So uh, once he gets on course, we'll uh, have a short chat and then uh, then we'll sign off and let him go around the buoy, and then he's going to come back and anchor the same as Elliot did. So we'll uh, then follow him back to the bay and we'll come live just as he's about to anchor again, and then we can have a good chat. He's looking super happy to see people, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, the boat looks good, eh? It looks like straight yeah. out of the showroom. Yeah, and the, the light is beautiful. Il a l'air tout content de voir du monde, il est tout souriant. Il prend un peu l'âge. Hein? to come here. Because this is like just the beginning, a tiny piece, like a little exercise to get out here. I'm just about to drop some uh, letters off with you guys, which says I'm going away for a long time, right? Uh, yeah. And I just want the canaries behind me, and I know that. Yeah. So, so the loan was one thing, Rasmus this is like a bench. I feel like I'm going now. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of Lanzarote. You can focus on Lanzarote for now. Yeah. And then you're, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we're off, right? Yeah. And then we're off. Then we're off. Yeah. Anyway. So, well, uh, you may have felt better if you sailed in rather than. Oh over. man, I've tried all day. I've done air. I've worked so hard today. Uh, but never mind, eh? Yeah. yeah. You know, this time, the start of the race from Le Sable d'Olonne. I think it was very hard for everyone because of the Bay of Biscay yeah, was yeah. so long and so uncomfortable. Yeah. So I think this year you are all arriving here in Lanzarote in a different mood. Uh -huh. And this is because of the weather. Yeah. So if you feel emotional, you are not the only one. Yeah. And it's just... Uh, the Gulf of Biscay, yeah, it's... Uh, it's tough, right? It, uh, for me it was a good thing. Why? But because I haven't been ready. Boat's ready, but like Ian wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. So the bay was good for me. It didn't do me any harm at all. Um, what I don't like is sitting around with no wind. I'm not very good at this. I'm going to have to get more zen about mm. this whole thing. Um, yeah. mm. So uh, all good. Yeah. 
You know, the difference is, I think, when you go from Les Sables d'Olonne to Lanzarote with a beautiful, sunny weather, you are still in a good, good mood of the holidays <laughs> and the race village. Uh, and after when you have in the storms and things, you are too far from the town. So maybe this is the difficulty of Lanzarote too, when the weather is not good. Yeah. It just... anyway. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I feel good now seeing you guys. Fantastic. They're very cool. And we're a calming influence. Oh uh, yeah. Calming we're a calming influence, influence for sure. <laughs> oh, I need I to give you the mic. No, it's okay. It's actually really high audio. It's, it's going in the red again, so yeah. it's, it's okay. Oh, you we are can, fine? Yeah, I think they can hear when I'm shouting out. So but anyway, we'll, we'll just do a short one okay. now. We're going to do a short one and just, just do some circles around the boat while we're here. Okay. And then... Uh, and there is a mark up there for me to go around. Sorry? There is a mark, yeah? Yeah, so yellow boy. Big yellow boy. It's off the end of the first concrete wall. The big concrete wall, Yeah, right? this concrete wall right there, yeah. off the far end. Yeah. You suggest you go around that and then come back to the anchorage and we'll start the live. We'll follow you and we'll start the live when you're back in. Okay, this being the anchorage. So yeah, you can go anywhere where those boats are in there. That's your best bet. Just hover around. What do you got to do? Okay. What work? Oh, um, I've got a temporary fix on that. Okay. So I'm charging again. Next time I'm completely stopped, I'll go over. Now yeah. I know what I need to do. Fix yeah. it, fix it. Okay. So I've done that. Sounds good. I've lashed up a new antenna down below to the brute that one and I'm getting uh, I'm getting uh, faxes so. yeah cool okay all right so cool. I can just hover down there Tom right yeah you can anchor in there or you can anchor it it's gonna drift no just drift oh, okay and then when you're done I'm gonna go oh cool yeah, okay yeah. all right we'll film you doing the work or whatever yeah, yeah. so go to the boy yeah. but if you're just gonna drift you don't have to come back here you can drift anywhere in there right there yeah. my, my next stops going to there yeah okay Stop. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Well, it's up to you. I just thought you were going to anchor. If you're just going to drift, there's a couple of spots where you can drift. You know. Yeah, you put them out, and I'll just drift off. Yeah. All right. No problem. You make a good option to don't stop because you would feel, uh, smell the fried potatoes. So it's better to go <laughs> so before like the before the dinner at the restaurant. Take you back up again. No, no, good idea. Okay. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking, of There's course. A couple of spots. We can talk about that when we get down there. So, how long are you going to be in the water for? Roughly. Uh, I don't need to go in now. Oh, so you can do it from up here? No, I'm just going. I, another time. I've done what I needed to do. I've been in. Okay. So, oh, well, that's easy then. So, when you get to the buoy, yeah. we'll just go ahead where there's an anchorage and I'll show you. You can just drift there. Okay, cool. Yeah. You're going to drift offshore anyway. So less, there's less swell by the wall. There's a bit of a swell bouncing back from the wall. So uh, we'll show you when we get up yeah, there. Yeah, but I don't need to go over the side today. I've done what I need to do. Yeah, so. okay. All right. Got to keep yeah, moving. No well, we could, yeah, we could do the interview then while we're doing this because you don't have to go slow. It's flat calm. You don't have to go 20 minutes. So we can yeah. just carry on doing that. Uh, if you want. Yeah. And I will uh, translate at the end, uh, maybe yeah, in French. Okay. Euh, donc Don va commencer l'interview maintenant parce que la mer est, est, est plate. Et ce qu'a dit Zayan tout à l'heure était très joli, euh, il était très ému. Il nous a dit que cette journée a été émotionnellement riche pour lui. Euh, il a écrit des lettres et tout ça. Je vous raconte ça tout à l'heure parce qu'avec Don qui veut à tout prix faire son anglais, je ne peux pas en placer une en français. Bon, on y va en anglais. Allez. Comment j'y sais Huh? I recommend rainwater for washing your hair. <laughs> yeah, so, so have you caught some water? Yeah, a little bit. Only enough for a shower, basically. A, a bucket, you know? A bucket rinse. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I haven't put anything in the tanks. So. so the boat looks brand new. Any issues at all? A few little gremlins, you know, the one seems to be my big one. Um, we've got something wrong where it won't sit in the water properly. It was hitting the hydro main. So I've temporarily lashed up. That's only I can only ever temporarily fix that. And then the, uh, then it chafed through its downhaul. And that took me a long time to get a chance to do that. I've got yeah. a temporary on it, so I'm charging again. Uh, at some point when I've got several hours, yeah. I'll go over and I can do a full re-ring on it. I know I can, so I'm comfortable. Okay. So that's good. Um, my weather facts got taken out by a rogue spinning machine. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's receiving now just on the amplifier. Well, I've actually rigged up another antenna internally to my cap tracks, and I'm getting cap text. Okay, so yeah. backup plan working fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've got a plan to try and repair that as well. Yeah. Um, apart from that, pretty good, really. No, no, no major issues. Yeah. No major issues. Okay. Yeah, no, it looks really 
really good. So uh, you know where you are in the world in terms of yeah. position. Do you know what, guys? That all fell into place. There's conditions that's been so nice. If you can't do it now, you can never do it. So <laughs> it uh, came in really nice. The DRs were working out well. Yeah. Uh, and last night, there was so little wind. But the timing worked out because so I knew I wanted to hit landfall yeah. at, at sunrise at dawn. It's good. So, yeah, so far so good. Yeah, yeah. Didn't do many sites the first few days in the bay. In the bay. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, you speak to many ships, you get positions up Yeah, plenty actually. Yeah. Uh, quite a lot. And obviously the last few days, not many. Yeah. Yeah. Early on, no problem. So you know who's behind you now? Yeah, Captain, <laughs> Who now? Captain Coconut and Damien and Arnold. Okay. Yeah. Right. And Elliot left here this morning at about eight o'clock. I knew he was going to motor through. Yeah. Because he motored through. Yeah. So we both stuck with the same problem, really. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to spend another three days there or spend on this side? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Poor Damien, man. What a shocker that is. Really. Uh, sure. Yeah. He's slowly, technical. Slowly pushing it, but he's only gained about twenty-five miles on uh, Simon in the front since he left. You know, Simon's done awesome, hasn't he? So that's yeah, there's a big hurricane coming. Well, not a big one, but there's a hurricane coming, but it'll all be gone before you get there. So uh, the yeah. others are going to have some fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. yeah. So that, you know, that's been great. The Astro's fine. That's working out. Routines coming together. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. You're probably all the course. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that's cool. You're looking too organised. That's the good news. Well, yeah. I've had a bit of time coming up the coast today. Gorgeous coming up the coast, and I came down the east side. I planned to come down the east side. Quite frank, I'm scared of the navigation, um, and it was it was a piece of cake. Yeah. Daytime, right? But it was still a piece of cake on the east side. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Um, so yeah, but pretty uh, at time. I've had my gremlins done. You know, my spinnaker has been in the water a couple of times. You know? yeah. so, but yeah, this is uh, this is this is me, right? Yeah. So. Uh, I'm happy with that, that's fine, I'm working it out. I've got a long way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. We just swap sides, is that going to be the place? Is that okay? Yeah, we're wearing you're not in the sun. The light, <laughs> is, the light is different today, it's more light, so I think it's okay. You better this side or the other side? How are you? How are you? It's okay, we're here now. Uh, yeah, okay. I think it's okay so, today. So I Ian, do you think you're in the GGR now? Like you're really doing it? Yeah, I think when I turn left in a minute, yeah. Definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. As long as I don't stop behind that big wall over there in the marina, and yeah, yeah, it's, it feels like it now, Doc. Yeah, yeah. Next stop, Cape Town, eh? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So now the fun begins. But anyway, you got you got quite a long time to settle in still, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's good, you know. Meeting, I'm not sleeping enough. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got that sorted out yet. What, what's what's the sleep? Because I don't I don't sleep enough during the day. Yeah. I'm always doing stuff, and then I and then I you know. Yeah. Very tired in the uh, early hours, so. Yeah. But uh, I've been doing well. I've done all sorts of routines. I'm varying. It depends what's going on. You know what it's like. Right? That's what I used to do. Yeah. Depends you know when you get sleepy, you just get the get the Zs then. Get the Zs when you need them, right? You don't have to have a routine. You know, you can just add them. <coughs> well, that may be it. That might be the answer. Yeah. And a lot of the time, you just even if you're not asleep, just get in your bunk and you're reserving energy and your body's catching up again. So yeah. I'm, I was never regular. You know, it's sort of more a case of just you know when you're getting sleepy, and you should never get over sleepy. It takes too long to recover. Yeah, you know you got to keep up with it. No, it was good. It's good. And uh, you know, like I say, the bay was a good thing. I'm quite yeah. more I think about it, but the better that was. Strange, I know. <laughs> Up with the French, eh? oh. oh, merci, Don. Yes. <laughs> I try to explain a little bit in, in French what happened. Uh, donc, du coup, uh, du coup, uh, <laughs> uh, du coup, ce que, ce que expliquait uh, Yann tout à l'heure, c'est que et ce qui était assez mouvant, parce que c'était quasiment ses premières paroles, c'était de dire qu'aujourd'hui, d'arriver ici à Lanzaro, a été une journée très émouvante pour lui, qu'il a écrit des lettres et, un, et, et que c'était horrible de le faire. Et euh, j'ai demandé pourquoi. Et il a dit qu'en fait, là, il, il réalise ici, maintenant seulement, que ça y est, il est dans la course, il est prêt à y aller. Il sait maintenant combien cette course est difficile. Et peut-être ce que je lisais tout à l'heure, c'est que le, le golfe de Gascogne était tellement... Ils ont eu dix jours tellement horribles dans ce golfe, tous ont été tellement secoués, 
qu'ils étaient, qu étaient, étaient directement dans la problématique aujourd'hui. Et, et pendant que je dis ça, il faut que je vous montre aussi cet homme polyvalent, bénévole de la GGR, le manager de Michael Guggenberg qui fait le son pour Jane McIntyre. <rire> voilà pour la petite histoire et donc euh, je pense que cette année c'est ce que je lui disais c'est un peu comme on les voit tous euh, comparé à la GGR il y a 4 ans quand la météo avait été superbe ils arrivaient ici, ils étaient heureux de nous voir aujourd'hui ils arrivent ici éprouvés par ce golf de Gascogne et ils savent ce qui les attend après ils, 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 ils le touchent du doigt quelque part et, et donc c'est on l'a un peu senti je pense pour beaucoup d'entre eux euh, peut-être moins pour Simone, peut-être moins pour certains d'entre eux, mais on l'a plus senti cette année. C'est arrivé ici, la difficulté de cette course, de la solitude, de la longueur et tout ça. Et puisque Yann s'ennuie parce qu'il ne parle pas français, on va lui redonner la parole en anglais. Don, I think he get bored this poor guy, he don't understand the word in French. He yeah. looks bored. He so wants to... Well, I like the sound of your voice, eh? <laughs> so what are, you, what are you missing the most? Uh, what am I missing? Oh. You know, I know it's cliche, right, to say the family, yeah. but it's it's what it is. It's family and friends, but it's the ability to ask somebody's opinion or to tell them what you're doing. Yeah. It's just not being able to share. It's really strange, and we are cut off. And I know we've got the backups and all the rest of it, but I I, I really feel that. I don't know. I, I didn't know I was a big communicator, but clearly I am because I do miss that big time. Yeah. No two ways about it. Filming and stuff? Yeah, trying to. I keep falling out of love with the GoPro. It always wants a new battery. What the hell? You know, like I haven't got enough charging issues. But yeah, now I'm doing some filming. Uh, I'm writing a bit, which is a novelty for me. So I'm trying to do that. Um, what great. I used to do was treat the camera as your mates. Yeah. If, like you're speaking to family, you just get the camera say, hey, cop this, you know, blah, blah, blah. It was quite fun. Yeah, yeah so that's been, a, that's been the strangest thing because it's like there's a. Uh, 20 things on the boat I want to tell Jade about. It's 20 things I want to tell Sally about. My daughter left me a letter on board, Emma. Sorry? Emma, my daughter, yeah. left me a letter on board. Okay. I didn't know it was from her. I didn't recognize the handwriting. I hadn't opened it till today. Wow. And you felt... <laughs> you know, Jan, this is... You know, Jan, the, why the GGR is such a tough race? Yes, it's a tough because it's long and because of the storm and the boat and the sextant. But for me, it's tough, especially because of the loneliness and being completely cut with the family. And that's why you are so strong, because you arrive here and you keep going. And that's why you are an inspiration for all of us, Be all of you. When you arrive here and you keep going, we know what you feel and I will cry with you. <laughs> I wish, Even if I, I can speak to my husband it, every I would have evening. opened it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anything you would have changed on the boat? Uh, my, my bracket for my what and see, I think. <laughs> I think that's what's wrong. Uh, no, not yet. No, 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 not yet. Actually, more. I want more blocks and shit. More blocks, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, more controls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just managing my poles and stuff like that. I could, you know, it's funny, isn't it? Already, you know yeah. how you do it differently next time. Yeah. Um, but you know, this is nothing. This is luxuries. Yeah. Oh, maybe a big fridge, that'd be nice. Big fridge, yeah. yeah. That'd be yeah. good. Yeah. That's cool. How, still about, how about the leak? Any leaks? Yeah, uh, a couple of strategic leaks. Yeah, that one intentionally left in there. Otherwise, I'd be too comfortable, right? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think Jade right. went and drilled a couple of strategic holes for him. Yeah. Sort them out later. So, no, no, the boat's fantastic. She's, she's great. Yeah. She, yeah. She, didn't, she didn't blink when we went through the bay. Uh, it's fine, so yeah. good start. Okay, cool. She's heavy, yeah, she's full of food. I mean, I've got <laughs> enough food on board for the whole fleet. Yeah, well, that's good because you're going to do space. the whole thing. Yeah, so. <laughs> and what do you have for dinner? I've been eating a lot of, well, a lot of fresh from the south. Mm. Actually, I'm fed up with fresh food now. I want to finish with it because it's getting on my nerves <laughs> and start on my ration. <laughs> yeah, genuinely, I'm fed up with thinking about it. Uh, so, two weeks of nice cooking. I've been eating a lot of, a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, French sausage, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of everything really. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. But I've been eating very well, uh, really well, too well. What, what about physically, your hands and your feet and your body and stuff? Body's pretty good. Uh, the hands are beginning to tell already, or well, they were. The last few days they've recovered a bit, I guess. Uh, so I'm trying to be careful with them actually. Uh, 
couple of little things where I, I nearly nearly hurt myself, you know, catch yourself. Uh, but so far, touch wood. Yeah. <laughs> touch wood. Uh, really, really lucky so far. So yeah, can't mm. complain. Yeah, I, I get into my, I get into the bunk and my shoulders are like dying for Nurofen. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm 49. Or yeah, 53 yeah, or something, yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> well, you can see the yellow boy there now, it's about yeah, 10 degrees off your yeah. starboard bow. Yeah. yeah, you can go around port or starboard, whatever you want to do. We'll do, we'll do. Uh, Jan, yeah. what is your job in the other life? A normal the, job? But your normal life? A normal job? I, I work in the various parts of the software industry, and I normally run the sales team. Okay. So I'm a head of sales or a chief revenue officer. That's what Don needs, chief <laughs> revenue officer. <laughs> that type of thing. So, uh, all commercial, flying around the world, talking nonsense most of the time. So. But it's very social and it's always about teams, people, building yeah. teams. Uh, and that's why this is so yeah. very different. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know you'll get stronger and stronger. Uh, we'll see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'll find a way to receive messages over the sat phone or something. I don't know. <laughs> Where's that boy gone, Have you got any films or uh, letters you want to drop off? I have. Can I have okay, you Okay, pass them over if you can. Oh, we'll wait till you stop. Yeah. We'll wait till you drop. Okay, around the boy and another letter. <laughs> yeah, once, once you go in there, yeah. It might be, you can see there's a swell coming in here. You know, the swell comes in around the corner. Uh, yeah, so um, you may be better off back over there. Not sure, what do you reckon in the corner? Alors, euh, donc du coup, il va, il va se mettre à l'encre bientôt. Il nous racontait un peu, euh, il nous racontait ses difficultés, il nous racontait le bateau. Don't go too far, so I have time to translate. If you cannot, because if you go too far, I cannot with the wind. Euh, donc du coup, euh, ce qu'il disait. Euh, euh, ce qu'il disait, c'est qu'il euh, nous racontait un peu sa vie à bord. Il nous racontait surtout, et il a été très ému quand il a raconté ça, qu'il a trouvé euh, une lettre de sa fille à bord il y a seulement quelques jours. Il n'avait pas reconnu son écriture. Et, et il a lu juste là la, fille de, la lettre de sa fille Emma. Il me disait aussi, je lui ai demandé quel était son travail dans la, dans la vraie vie, dans l'autre vie, dans la vie normale. Et il m'a dit qu'il est commercial, qu'il travaille dans l'industrie euh, des ordinateurs, de l'informatique, qu'il travaille énormément, est, il est une sorte de manager. Sa vie est faite de réunions, de meeting people, de, de rencontrer des gens, d'être de, avec du monde en plus de la famille. Et c'est pour cela aussi, nous a-t-il dit, qu'il euh, qu vit cette isolation extrême de la course qu'il a choisie, euh, difficilement dans ses premiers temps. Mais ce qui était très beau à voir, c'est que, que Don a pensé qu'il allait mettre l'encre parce qu'il doit reparer quelques petites choses à l'arrière de la voiture. Je n'ai pas très bien compris ce que c'est. Je pense que c'est au niveau du régulateur d'allure. Il doit arranger quelques petites choses. Euh, et donc, pensait que Don McIntyre pensait qu'il allait se mettre à l'encre. Et en fait, euh, pas du tout. Il a dit non, 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 je vais me laisser euh, euh, tester, comment on dit en français, dévier. Dé dérivé, dé ah, le mot ne vient pas, on est un peu fatigué après, après ces, cette semaine éprouvante. Euh, et donc euh, il va réparer, il va repartir aussitôt. Euh, il va repartir aussitôt. Voilà, c'était un moment très beau. Très très beau parce que l'émotion qu'on sentait dans sa voix, qu'on apercevait dans son regard, ne changeait en rien sa détermination et, et, et c'est un avis de continuer. On se retrouve tout à l'heure à la bouée. I can give you some technical stuff if you want. Yeah, I can put it here. So for those that don't know, some most of you probably will, it's a uh, Tradewind 35, the same as uh, Guy Wakes. And uh, it was uh, prepared for the GGR by uh, Istvan Kopa for the 2018 edition of the GGR and then Ian bought it and uh, did another rebuild, new rig, new bits and pieces and uh, uh, he modified all the, you know, rebuilt re a lot of stuff and he's very happy. It's like in brand new condition. It's one of the, the very impressive, solid ocean voyaging boat. It's a little bit heavier than Guy Waits' boat so it performs maybe a little bit differently uh, but certainly Ian's a 
quintessential British seaman, I'd say, you know, Bristol ship shape fashion boat. Um, nice boat, I think it's fantastic. You'd go anywhere in that boat. Uh, so, uh, certainly up to the task of the GGR Touchwood. And uh, he's got all the bits on the back there. Very impressive mounting for the hydrovane wind vane. He's got the Watton C hydro generator. Uh, but he's having a few issues there, you know, moving it up and down in and out of the water. He's got twin furling systems on the bow, which is really good. He's got one on the end of the bow sprit and uh, one at the stem of the boat, which means he can run twins often uh, downwind, especially in the Southern Ocean, it's a huge plus. And he's got his stay sail there on the inner furling gear as well, so he doesn't have to really change any head sails at all. Uh, Jean-Luc Vanenheed and uh, Uku in the last GGR didn't change sails at all. They just put the mainsail up and down, furled the head sails in and out, and just set spinnakers for the whole way around the world. Really quite amazing. Uh, he's got all new everything on the boat, new sails. Uh, you know, it's a really well set up boat. And down below, it's just the same sort of fashion, so uh, quite cool. So he's just about to come up to the boy here, so we'll get to see him go around the boy, and then uh, uh, he will uh, head back to the bay where Elliot anchored, because there's a little less swell. What happens here, the ground swell, which comes around from the um, western side of the island, comes in here and hits this seawall at Rubicon Marina and uh, bounces back, so you get a bit of a rebound on the swell, whereas uh, in the other part of the bay, uh, there's a lot less. We thought he was going to anchor, but he's not. He's just going to jump over the side or, or stand on the side or do whatever he needs to do to um, make that happen. So uh, he may not have to get in the water, which is cool, and we'll pick up his films and everything when that, that happens. So there's the boy, we've got to make sure we, oh we should have stopped right here. I'll go in a little bit in reverse so he doesn't run us over, or I'll keep turning. Um, let's see, no he's not going to run us over fortunately, <laughs> not a good look. So um, he's officially around the boy, we let people go port or starboard, whatever's easiest. Yeah, <laughs> that way! <laughs> he wants to know where Cape Town is. Um, whoops, a daisy, oops, a daisy. Where is my hand? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, Le moteur dans la <laughs> dans la dans la, la rope. Oh, mais je trouve plus les mots en français, moi, à force de parler anglais. Comment on dit rope en français? La corde de la voilà, la corde de la bouée. Le bout. Ça y est, le mot est revenu. Donc, il a mis la l'hélice de du moteur si. dans le bout de la bouée. If you had have been driving, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Et c'est sûr, si c'était moi le conducteur du rib, cela ne serait pas arrivé parce que les femmes, c'est connu, font beaucoup plus attention aux choses. Oh, Alors, euh, Don nous dit que ça va durer un petit moment, euh, le temps de sortir de là et euh, de, de sortir de le bateau d'ici. <laughs> Et ce bateau est très beau. Il nous disait tout à l'heure, tout à l'heure, je ne vous l'ai pas dit parce que vous le saviez évidemment. Donc ce qu'il dit, euh, ce qu'il disait Don aussi, mais je ne vous l'ai pas dit, mais vous le savez déjà. Puffy, Puffin, Puffin est le bateau de Richard Cooper qui a déjà fait une Golden Globe Race euh, la précédente. Et donc Don nous expliquait un peu euh, euh, quelques détails euh, techniques de, de son bateau. Oh, the other boot. Oh, après avoir pris un boot, sure à la bouée, il va prendre le log. Il est. Euh, il a aussi, lui aussi, à, à le log, euh, derrière le bateau. Il est en train de le, de le remonter. Et euh, voilà. On, il, va, il va maintenant nous donner ses lettres. Oh. 
you. Okay. And uh, film set uh, films for our, our friends. Yeah. Okay. I'll put them in the bag. There's no envelopes. I had to make envelopes out of and pieces of paper. <laughs> um, okay, so and no uh, stamps. You could actually. I'm not sure what you're going to do. But, uh, Attendez, yeah, je range les lettres. Je vais être sûr qu'elles finissent pas à l'eau. Oh, ok. Yeah, yeah. I'm, right. uh, I'm, I'm happy to chat to you guys, but otherwise I'm going to get on with the night and yeah. start moving, okay. you know? Alright. Use yep, this no little problem. bit of breeze to get out so, between the islands. So, what else do you want to tell your fans and friends and family and all that sort of stuff? You know, I've got to say thank you again because I'm here. Yeah. Holy shit, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, and I'm still, you know, a little bit terrified, a little bit awed by the whole thing. But you know, that's incredibly natural, so don't yeah. worry. Yeah, uh, I have no idea how much of this I can pull off. I really don't. Yeah, you know, I'm not being. I just don't know. But I'm yeah. going to go out and find out. I'm going to find out, and uh, I'll come back and let everybody know. But if it wasn't for you know Sally and Emma and Tom and Owen and the guys, the family making the space, and it couldn't happen. It wasn't for Jay, they couldn't pull the boat together. Yeah, you know, there's so many people been involved. Yeah, you know, and and things will break and things will go wrong. It's just about trying to keep keep moving forward. Um, I know it's a race. Don't touch me. You know, you know I'm only racing against myself, right? And I keep reminding myself of that. Yeah, just remember, you got one of the best prepared boats in the race. It's one day after the other. It's Monday morning, Monday afternoon, Monday night. Yeah. Keep it in perspective. You can do this. You'll, you'll eat it. No okay. problem. The yeah. boat is perfect. My, my personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> the boat's perfect. You're ready to go. Yeah. It's not as, you know, if you think of it as 30,000 miles around the world, it can seem really daunting. Just think of it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yep. And you can handle something. It's just, it's just storms, you know. Uh, uh, nothing. Oh, just uh, some storms. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. No, no, you, you uh, a hurricane yeah, in two days, but it's so, all. Uh, so give it heaps and uh, we'll do you know, it. We'll do it. Have fun. And everyone, you know, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, all good. All very good. Okay, so hang around. Not good. Much better than <laughs> I slip lines and go. Okay, <laughs> Much all right. better. Well, good luck, eh? So. But I've got to tell you, my honest opinion, you've got one of the best prepared boats for the Southern Ocean in the whole fleet. So, oh, that's cool. Very good. I've just got to look after her. She'll look after me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're ready. <laughs> you're ready. You are totally ready. You're too British to be ridiculous. Go, go do it for the UK, you know? <laughs> very British. Yes, very <laughs> British and uh, very cool. Everything looks good. You know? Yeah, good. Yeah, it's good being here. It's fantastic. Yeah, really good. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm addicted to the HF radio. Good. Now I've got, yeah, salt. Totally salt. <laughs> didn't, didn't think I was going to use it. So oh, salt. Oh, jeepers. Oh, That's yeah. the whole thing. No one uses them up in your end of the world. Down in yeah. Australia, they, you know, anyway. Jan, so. who is your best friend in the race? Well, Which so far, Elliot, because he and I have been at the back looking after each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't been up there yet, Coco, for a long time. Yeah. Uh, which is a shame. I guess I'll hear you soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael. Uh, Abby, Abelesh, uh, Edward, we lost They're not far ahead, yeah. so don't worry, they're just down the road a bit, you know. With uh, a guy, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry, everyone's saying, so, oh, you know, bad luck for Guy and all that stuff, but say, so, oh, we're going to miss him on the radio, he was Mr. DJ. He was absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> he's looking good, we saw him this afternoon and he's okay, he's very busy right now, but he's okay. He yep. wanted to come and see you. Yeah, he wanted to come and see you, but he had to get the ferry back to the boat. So, uh, anyway. Yeah. Guys, I love you all. Yeah, okay, okay. you too, eh? Yeah. Enjoy. Keep it real and have fun. 250. Okay. Uh, can, you, can, can I say something without the microphone? Yeah, on yeah, yeah. yeah. Hang on. I'll just come round. Can I take my retro notes? Yeah. Oh, what? I did not hear you. I'll take my refund. Hang on. <laughs> but not really. He haven't, if he's not stopping. He asked, her, can he take the reef out? The reef out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he <laughs> hasn't uh, passed the 20 minutes yet. Nah, no, no, uh, he did it on the way in. Oh, okay. Worry, yeah. I want to say something. 
Et voilà, on va quitter d'ici très peu de temps euh, Yang, qui finalement va s'organiser parce qu'il n'y a pas beaucoup de vent, donc euh, finalement il va le faire en route, son, euh, ce qu'il voulait euh, arranger pour son, euh, son régulateur d'allure. Qu'est-ce qu'il est beau ce bateau dans le soleil, avec ce joli orange Donc il, il repart et tout à l'heure il nous disait c'était assez drôle, une fois qu'il a passé la bouée, euh, il nous dit « Bon alors, c'est quelle direction Captain ?» Il disait évidemment pour rigoler. Il le disait pour rigoler, même si... Euh, je ne sais pas vous, mais moi je l'ai senti euh, vraiment, je l'ai senti bien dans sa peau, je l'ai senti bien dans sa course, je l'ai senti... Euh... Et ça, Prêt à continuer et peut-être même à rattraper quelques places, ou qui, qui sait. Uh, uh, je parlais français, pardon. Oh, we've got this one. Okay. So yeah, clearly um, a big challenge for Ian. I mean, uh, he's uh, done all his training, he's got all this far and all the rest of it, but it's very obvious to see he's missing family and friends and, and he really, uh, we, in fact we all know that when you get to Lanzarote, one of the one of the beauties of it is when you leave the Saved alone, you're just thinking about Lanzarote and so it's a good good way to settle in and just, just not get too daunted by the whole thing. And now uh, Ian was the first one to express the fact that, well no, the others had as well, a couple of them said, oh yeah, now it's serious, we've got to step out from here and on the way to Cape Town but it's clear to see that it's affecting Ian quite a lot. Uh, I'm convinced he'll do this, he's uh, quite strong, the boat's fantastic, it really is and uh, he's, he's, you know, you, it's funny, people sometimes think you've got to be a superhero to sail around the world. You've got to be completely, you know, sort of um, passionate about it in your headspace but you don't have to be a superhero physically, uh, technically, Uh, anything like that it's all of, it's all about being in your head you know just wanting to do it and put up with all the horrible bits and and ride the high emotions and all the other bits and pieces so so Ian's obviously very emotional and uh, you know it's 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 part of what the GGR is and uh, it's good to see in some ways because that's that's part of life and living because you, you you live the highs and lows you don't just sort of bland flatlining where everything gets too comfortable and too simple so he's doing exactly what he wants to do it's his big plan he's looking really good He's done an incredible job of preparing the boat, and uh, now, like any human, you start to question: Oh, is it real? Is it for me? You know. So he's still questioning it, but I'm very confident that he'll pull this off. You know, the boat will look after him, and he'll look after the boat. You've got to have a bit of luck, all those sorts of things. But, but you know, that was a quintessential display of uh, how the human emotions can play right to the very end. And uh, you know, I look forward to seeing him in Hobart. So there we go. Anyway. That's, uh, there goes the ferry. In fact, I wonder if Guy was on that ferry. Guy might be on that ferry, I'm not sure. Going back to his boat, we had lunch with him today and it was good to see him. He explained a few things and they're working hard to get a salvage operation up. They haven't locked in anything yet, but they're talking to the right people. So, um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll hope, hopefully see the boat off the rocks there in the next few days or whatever. Uh, the weather at the moment is really benign. Uh, there's not a big swell happening, but by Monday, uh, you know, it'll be sort of three, four, 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 maybe five days of good weather, a chance to get the boat off the rocks there. So uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed, crossed for Guy. In the meantime, we're going to turn around and go back because we're just distracting him now. Huh? <laughs> I think we're distracting yeah. uh, Ian yes. now. We probably need to go. We'll do a speed run around him. So I'll hand over to uh, Ada again and she can talk in French. Voilà, et à chaque fois il me donne le micro au moment où il va prendre de la vitesse et où je ne pourrai pas parler. Euh, Dan faisait tout à l'heure une analyse, mais c'est un peu ce que je vous, ai dis je vous disais aussi tout à l'heure. Euh, Dan faisait une analyse de la difficulté de, 
de Lanzarote, d'être là, de repartir, d'aller en course. Mais il disait, comme je le sentais aussi, lui, il a senti la même chose. Il a senti Yann prêt, pour, bien dans la course. Et, euh, et je fais une vidéo pendant que je vous parle. Alors forcément, ça laisse moins de temps à la concentration. Mais quand, quand Don fait, et vous le voyez à l'image, ces looping autour du bateau dans ces belles oui, lumières voilà. avec cette jolie 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 lumière. He's got his engine off, he's sailing. <rire> magnifique bateau, magnifique dans le soleil et magnifique euh, magnifique personnage. Yann Herbert Jones qu'on connaît assez peu finalement. On l'a vu au sable de l'eau, on sait qu'il faisait des blagues tout le temps, qu'il était souriant, mais on le connaissait assez peu et puis on le découvre, comment on les découvre tous en fait c'est Ces périodes d'extrême solitude, je pense, poussent chacun à, à se découvrir plus facilement. Et ici à Lanzarote, je les ai tous trouvés différents des gens que j'avais vus au Sable de l'Aune au moment du départ pendant le, pendant le village. Et Don McIntyre veut dire quelque chose. What do you want to say? Just say goodbye. The next one, who's the next one? Damien. Damien and Or Mark Sinclair, I don't know. No, no, Damien will be next, he's in front. So, uh, oh, so, French guy, and he uh, doesn't speak English, uh, so we don't need you, Don, uh, you can stay home and have a sleep. Play. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, it's kind of very emotional with <laughs> <for> you, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful, it's human, yeah. and this is that place. And, uh, yeah, exactly. And yeah, anyway, we already said all that, okay. we're not saying that. Okay, goodbye. Hey, Thank see you. you. See you. See uh, you. No, je voulais le dire en français, j'ai perdu mon français à cause de tout cet anglais. Oh, d'accord. A très bientôt en français avec Damien Guillou, qu'on va accueillir peut-être d'ici deux jours. Maybe tomorrow days. night. Ah. No, 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 Pe maybe late tomorrow night. Peut-être tard dans la nuit prochaine et j'espère que vous serez là pour accueillir comme il se doit et pour encourager Damien Guillou. Bateau 85 comme la Vendée. Salut.